Right, hello and welcome back. Today I've took delivery of a uh, a small collection of uh, model railway bits. Um, really, really happy to purchase. I paid uh, eighty pound plus ten pound postage for it. Um, yeah, lots of sort of small bits in there that all add up. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn you around, give you a quick look at what we've got. So we're looking at that box there. What I'm going to do now is spin you around, grab a chair and show you what we got. All right, so starting with this one, we've got a trackside signs. This is a trackside signs um, road layout. I had a quick look on eBay. This does look complete. I will have to have a, uh, a look at it. Basically, it sticks down to your layout and it's a road or loads of different roads and car parks. This sells for about 35 pound. So yeah, it looks all new in now. I'll have to check it out, make sure it's all, all in there. So that was 35 or will be 35 quid as i say i paid 80 pound plus 10 pound postage for a lot of this got a ballast magic kit this is for gluing down all the various ballasts and so forth on the on the layouts this looks new and, and sealed i have got another one that's been used in there as well this one's new and sealed these sell for 14.99 yeah so happy with that got a load of these metcalf kits i've got signal boxes i've got um construction paving sheets i've got workers cottages or buildings that you build out of cardboard i've got a country station there i've got more of the stone platform kits i've got two of those platform kits on average these sell between 10 and 20 pounds these ones are all new and sealed and there is new and sealed there's six of them there so they sell between 10 and 15 pound got a couple here oh he says as he drops one couple here that have been open the platform ones does feel a bit skinnier so i'm assuming that's all out of there but i've got another build in there which looks like a really nice garage on the back there um, the good thing about these in there, it does have a checklist, so I can actually check to make sure that everything's in there. Let's say this is not your, your usual sort of train heavy collection that I bought, but nonetheless, really, really happy with it. Got some tarmac, another tarmac kit there, that one's new as well. Got some paving sheets, some other sheets there as well. You have to excuse my ignorance when it comes to this stuff because I genuinely haven't got a clue. What it is it, it doesn't really interest me but i, I kind of get it so yeah there's loads of them sheets i'd probably say between 100 and 120 pounds worth of those kits there never seen these before got two of these fortunately they had something written on them which i don't know whether you can see that it says pico loco lift these are worth about 10 to 15 pound each um i can only assume the loco goes on there and then it sort of lifts it off the track or whatever it may be we've got two of them and they're worth 15 quid each so yeah happy with those got some pico points here these are worth probably about 10 pound each pico points there another pico points there as well this is sort of the box that keeps on giving in my opinion um got some pico this is um, for the smaller um, end gauge track, but there's some track foam there. I haven't actually looked at that. Let's say it's worth a fiver there or thereabouts. This is what sold me on it. I have got a, a Hornby APT here. It is incomplete. I've got coaches here. Got another coach there as well. From memory, these are worth about 25 quid each and they're actually in pretty good condition. So this is where I knew my money was going to be safe on what I was buying. I've got the end there for the APT as well. I've then got the, that is probably worth about 30 quid. I've then got the powered bit for the APT, which looks in really good condition as well. Look, you see all the bits are there. That's probably worth about 40 quid there or thereabouts. So yeah, that's where I knew my money would come. Back was on those particular bits there. I've got a hat here, and believe it or not, I thought they were winding me up. This is a, a engine driver hat. This sells for a tenner on eBay. So 
yeah, I was actually going to put it in there. It come from the National Railway Museum, which is quite interesting. I can't even assume this was somebody that passed away, unfortunately. Part of this model railway sort of buying game is you do end up buying people's model railway that passed away. Um, got here a individual Hornby wagon. Uh, sorry, Lima wagon, Hornby. Uh, Lima wagon, uh, that's a corn products. That's probably worth, again, about a tenner. So, you know, sort of already I've doubled my money, if not more. And I've got this big bag of really small bits that I'll get to in a minute as well. Um, got some more track in here. I won't get it all out. Got some little engaged track there as well, which is tiny. Um, just loads and loads of little bits here. Um, bits like this, you know, track cleaning stuff. It's all brand new. Um, they're all individually priced. I've got some engage rail joiners. It's one pound for this. There's absolutely loads of these things in there. Got these brand new in the packet. H O O O ballast spreader. You know, what's that got to be worth? A, a five or I don't, I don't know. You know, it's just the, the box that keeps on giving. And literally, I'll bring this box up so you can have a look inside. There's just still loads and loads more bits in there that I've got to go through um, individual bits but you know they're, they're all in the packs here what are they track joiners unit tracking package or something like that there's just loads of bits to go through in there so yeah really happy with that then we move on to this one now I'll go through them really quickly but we got individual buffers they're worth about a fiver each got more motor brushes uh it says two pound fifty but i'd say they're probably worth about a fiver now um some sort of strip there brand new in the package i say it's worth a fiver as well got some hornby track pins got two lots of those brand new in the packet i'd say they're probably worth a fiver as well got some uh what are they snow something brass it's marked up two pound 80 anyway that's that there got some more buffers they're probably worth a fiver some um connections the connections for the for the wagons there um i bought 10 of these yesterday or 20 of these yesterday for five pound each i wish i'd known they were in there got some windows some they're actually station names on there really really tiny not looked at those yet but you know they've got to be worth something Got some more buffers and some more buffers there as well. They're all brand new in packets. Got some more buffers there, brand new in the packet. So that's really, really nice. These are really good. Um, got some Pico turnout motor. They're point motors, I believe. There's four of these in total and they're worth £10 each. So as I say, I've not done much research on these, but already you can see that I'm probably three times my money. Um, got some more buffers there as well. These are really nice to have, even if I can hold them myself. These are pretty good. These are Point Motor De-Energizers. They're made by Gauge Master. They're all in this bag. These are worth about £15 each. So, yeah, really happy with that. Then got a, um, a load of sort of wheels for wagons or trains there as well. So I can hold them up too high. Got a a motor there if anybody could let me know what that motor is out of that would be great um because i've not got a clue so if anybody does know what that is please let me know then got some buffer stops there as well again it's just loads of stuff loads of switches what are these switches used for i've had loads of these switches in the past what, what are they actually used for are they for for turning points turning signals again if anybody knows please let me know on that one and then got more wheels there as well so i'd say conservatively um i have got loads of look connections uh for wagons and stuff like this it's just a load still in here loads of little plastics that i've got to do Sort of more research on but yeah really really happy with this it's like the the sort of gift that keeps on that keeps on giving um so yeah i thought i'd give you an idea you know how i get my my sort of bits and bobs these all will be listed on ebay eventually when i get to them um yeah just sort of overwhelmed really with, with what's in there and the sort of value sort of 90 pound pay but i reckon there's easily 
350 quid's worth of stuff once I once I get through it all. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you do like the videos, please give me a, uh, a thumbs up and a like. And more importantly, if you could subscribe to the channel, it would be fantastic. So, yeah, happy days. See you next time. Cheers.